Hey everybody and welcome back to NWI Aquatics. In today's video, we're gonna be unboxing a OEO Waters LED light. It's a smart light. It doesn't have a remote or anything, but it does have buttons that you could click. This buddy, this is Batman. Um, but we're gonna be installing this light on this 75 gallon tank. This is their four foot or 48 inch model. Excuse me, buddy. I'll show these people what it is. It's Oyo's water. Okay, so what you get in the box is a power adapter. It's got a nice long cord on there for you. And of course you get the ultra slim light itself. As you can see, it is ultra, ultra light. You get a lot of options here. You get these nice slide out adjusters for your tank sizes and all that. The slide, all these do is just pop out. They'll come in the box. All you gotta do is just slide them right back in, just like that. Then you adjust it, okay? Come on, buddy. Watch out, buddies. So all we got, and all you gotta do when you plug it in, you got all your selectors right here. I will possibly Velcro this to the side of the glass or the frame. I am not sure yet but I haven't used this light yet. I do know it does have a dimmer control. It has uh, where you can set it for 24 hours. Uh, you can set different timers from, I believe, I don't know, eight to 12 hours, or maybe even seven to 12 hours, whatever it is. I mean, this light has a lot of functions just on this button pad right here. You do not want to submerge this light in the water at all. It is not waterproof. I wouldn't, uh, I would not, I would not put it in water, how about that? Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove my Mars Hydro light. Uh, <clears throat> as you can see, I made custom lids out of greenhouse material. Super easy to do. Uh, when we bought this tank on the 50% off sale, uh, the lady sold us lids and they were the wrong size. So I decided to build my own lids. I could show that in, in another video. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, install this light real quick and show you some of the functions that it has. This is my buddy, Harley. She's a very good girl. We love her dearly. Also Batman, we have Joker, and we have Twix. You'll probably meet them on video here soon too. They love being the center of attention. So we'll go ahead and get these twist ties off. It did come very nicely packaged by the way. I just didn't want to bore you with unboxing the light out of the box, but it did come with uh, good packaging, bubble wrap around everything. They had some foam inserts around the lights and all that good stuff. So you can see, you get a nice long cord. All right, let's go ahead and get this plugged in. I'm not sure yet where I'm gonna set everything, but we'll figure that out here soon. This is my first. Also just want to let you guys know that this company did reach out to me and asked me to do a review on their light. I am not getting paid to do this. Just figured I'd do a quick video and let's see how well their light works and we'll give it some time in the, you know, in the future and say, I'll come back in a month, I'll come back in maybe six months, a year and just see how this light's doing because I like how ultra slim it is. I'll show you that up close here in a second. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this light on and let's see what it does. All right, so, so far we have that. Uh, I believe the second button is your brightness and dimness. I'm looking at the icon on here. So let's see what we got there. Okay, those are different brightness levels. Okay, the top button, which was your power button, that's your power on and off, and it also lets you change your lighting as well. So let's click that. So we got more of a blue and looks like a 65K light Calvin uh, light feature there. 
Let's go ahead and let's see here. Looks like you get a little bit of purple in that one and blue. This one will shine some reds. And how I could tell the colors, I'm not looking directly into the LED lights. I'm looking on these top panels here that I had made and I could see the colors reflecting off of that. Uh, so that's more of your blues and whites, just less blues, more whites. Uh, Here adds a little bit of green, blues, and obviously your whites. All right, now we got some red, we got some, I mean, well, it looks like we got some orange in there. Look at that. I mean, I guess the, looks like you get a mixture of yellow, green, and all kinds of stuff here. Kind of runs through the spectrum. So let's see which one I personally like the best. And I'm gonna think that we're gonna go with uh, this one. It's more subtle. I like the blues and the whites there. And now let's go ahead and select. See, I believe this was our brightness level again. Okay. Uh, this next one would be your timer up on the top here. So you could go from, I can't really read it, but it's, I think it's eight to 12 hours or seven to 12 hours. So if I set it there, it'll just sit there and stay on for 12 hours. And that timer is now off when you go to reset the timer. And like I said, this thing does ramp up when it turns itself off. Uh, down here is your timer. Down here, you get multiple choices of your timers, you know, for your moon lights. And then as your time goes up, it ramps the light up for daylight. It is super cool. Uh, you got different hours, different features and different colors of your timer as well. So in time, I'm going to play with this. Like there would be your moonlight, you know, it's, I think this is super cool. Your light will flash and it tells you the indicator on the controller here on whatever setting that you want to keep it on. So yeah, I mean, you could choose different night modes. Uh, yeah, this thing is, I, I'm actually, you know, for $36, I'll put everything, the link below. Like I said, I don't get paid for this. I'm just, they just reached out to me and asked me if they wanted to send me a light and I said, sure. So I figured I'd be nice enough to do a video for them. So okay, everybody, that now the timer is off. It's a very self-explanatory light. I just want to thank Oyo Waters for sending this out to me. Uh, Cause this here is a fairly new tank for me. I had to, I had to take my Oscars out of my 150 gallon tank that's in the other room, which I'll do videos on that soon. I thought it would be a good idea to add African cichlids, uh, peacocks to be exact, and uh, about the same size or so and thought they would be okay. Well, unfortunately I did lose a couple of fish over it. I lost one of my red chili, uh, albino uh, chili Oscar. I lost his buddy and I lost one of his buddy due to the peacocks attacking. I should have known better. I've seen people do it. I am fairly new at fish keeping. I've had tanks when I was a teenager, didn't know parameters of water like I do now. I'm getting really, really good and knowledgeable watching a lot of these bigger YouTube channels that are just phenomenal with all kinds of information. I will explain every everything that I have done, not in this video, in another video, and why I changed my YouTube channel from Joe's Hydroponics to NWI Aquatics. Uh, there is a reason behind it. I wanted to change the channel. I want to learn a lot about the fish tanks, the, the, the cycles, the, um, you know, filters, media, you, you know, different types of stuff. I want to learn a lot of stuff about the aquariums first before I get back into the plants. So I would like to do uh, live aquarium plants. To, I would like to do all kinds of stuff. Okay, I'm not giving up on my hydroponics. Okay, I have plants growing right now. They're in the rock wool. They're about this big right now. I got about 18 sets of peppers going. Uh, I will be growing them outside. Uh, the point of this is I wanna get into growing plants above tanks, okay? But I want some information from you guys. But anyway, that's on a whole nother video. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, check out the link below. Check out Oyo. It's OYO water, check them out. I'll drop the link down below. Maybe I'll put it on the screen somewhere over here. And if you'd like to check out some of my hydroponic videos, click so anywhere uh, 
either in the i cards above here or, or look down below. Maybe I'll drop some links or go check out my playlist. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like the new channel name and, uh, and hope to see you soon. Again, thank you, Oyo, for sending me out that smart LED light. I have a feeling I'm going to like it. I love how thin, low profile it is. I couldn't thank you enough. So hopefully this video is good enough for you. And we'll do some reviews on it in the near future. So hey guys, like, comment, subscribe. If you like this video, share to your friends. Check it out. For only 36 bucks, you can't go wrong for an LED light. I mean, let's just say the light only lasts, let's say it just lasts you three years. It's only 36 bucks versus paying 400 that could die out on you. So uh, give it a shot, check it out, you know? Take my word for it or check it out for yourself. So hey guys, again, like, comment, subscribe, and have a great day. Thank you.